the Carden channel. For today's video, it's just going to be me. It's just going to be me, Carmi. I'm actually going to work today, but since it's too early, I've decided to make a video because I received a lot of questions and comments regarding how easy or hard it is to look for a job here in Mountain New Brunswick. And everything that I say is based on my experience or the experiences of the other people that I know. So here are the top five challenges in job hunting here in Mountain New Brunswick, Canada. Number one, number one challenge for me is bilingualism. Bilingualism here means you know French and English and you have to be proficient in both languages and so if I ever am searching for jobs and I see these requirements, bilingualism, French is required, then I don't apply because then if I would apply and I would end up being interviewed when I go there, I don't know French so why did I apply in the first place? So that's number one challenge that I know. Second is part-time. Me, I'm a student. So I actually didn't get job right away because I may be qualified but the schedules are not matched or the company requires this schedule but then it does not meet my availability. So I can't get that job. I guess it's challenging for people who are looking for part-time especially if the one that you're applying has required specific schedules. So that's number two. The third challenge is the season. There are months that it's so quiet and downtime where they where there's not really much jobs. There's no not much hiring. So and I guess it's mostly after Christmas, it's January. It's hard to find a job during those months, January, February. It's after Christmas, it's downtown downtime, everyone's done shopping, the Christmas is over and the weather's not so good. Actually, some establishments are closed in the winter. So yeah, that's another challenge. It's downtime. Fourth challenge, it's connected, it's the seasonal employment. Sometimes I look for jobs and it says seasonal employment, which means they, I am only allowed to work in three months or four months in this specific period, which is the busy period. And after that, they get to decide whether they keep me or they can let me go. So that's challenging. I mean, if you're looking for a permanent part-time job, but then you only get those seasonal jobs, it's hard. That means if they don't want to keep you, then you'll have to apply for another job. And if that is the downtime season, it, it will be really hard. That's just according to me. And the fifth one, uh, transportation. The bus does not go in every corner of mountain. And for me, when I'm job hunting, I look up the location. If it's accessible by bus, I check if there's a bus that's going to go there. Because if not, that means I have to take a cab. and that would be a little expensive or if you know someone who can do carpool that would be nice but if you don't have a car and you're just dependent on the bus or cab public transportation you have to consider the location I guess those are the five top challenges in looking for jobs here in mountain but then I'd like to add that if you come here, if you have a bachelor's degree in your home country and any experiences you have in your home country, I think we all start equally here. So whatever we have in our home country, bachelor's degree, even if we're doctors, nurses, nurses, if we don't have the education here, whatever experiences that we have in our home country, if we don't have a Canadian work experience here, then we're basically just starting from zero. I guess um, it's the same to to other countries too. If you go to other countries, you, that's why they keep on saying you have to prepare to start from scratch because the educational system is different. And I, I get, I understand why certain countries require 
people immigrating to get an educate education and experience in in the country because it is aligned to their education system and their work system so yeah i guess that and my only advice if i have to give advice it's up to you to follow or not but if i have to give advice for people coming here job hunting guys maybe whatever job that ha whatever job that hires you that you applied for would be good as long as you have a job and then later on work on something that you really want it's just so you can gain work experience right now it's for the moment you don't you don't get to you don't waste time you don't waste money so in that way you have a job you just go to your job you get, you, you earn work experience and then you don't spend the savings that you have or you know at least you have a job so yeah i guess that's my advice but it's up to you because there are really some jobs that are a no-no and for me kitchen job is a no-no i am very clumsy i would always break plates and glasses and i would always cut my hands whenever i'm chopping so uh that's why i'm a no-no with the restaurants but with the other else i can work in retail even if it means i'd be standing for hours a day i mean it's a little tiring but it is what it is if, if i don't have a job then that means i would have to stay at home and it would be so boring if i just stay here and not have a job right and that also means i'm not earning money and i'm not earning work experience and then i would end up spending our money my husband's hard work I mean, it's for practical reasons so but it's up to you guys it's up to it's up to you it's just how i think it is so i guess that's it guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to like and follow our facebook page bye